So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I've been working very closely with Jerry Seinfeld on this script. Oh, Jerry Seinfeld, interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be called Bee Movie, you know, like a bee movie, but this is about actual bees. Oh, the title is a pun, that's, that's something. Yeah, and I don't want to name drop, but this whole thing started when Jerry was having lunch with Steven Spielberg. Oh, Spielberg. And Steven said he absolutely loved the idea, so we just ran with it. If he loved it so much, why isn't he producing it? I... I, I don't know. Do you think he might have said that as a joke? Oh my god. But you said Jerry Seinfeld's attached. Yeah, he is. Okay, well then I could sell this thing, no problem. Great. Anyway, so what's the movie about? Right, so the main character is named Barry B. Benson. Okay. You see how his middle name is B? Right. Please clap. Oh, uh... Thank you. So we meet Barry and he's starting his day, you know, he sharpens his stinger. Listen, that's very clever, but I can't clap every time you make a bee joke. Oh, that's fair, because you'd be clapping this whole time. I should probably point out, though, that male bees don't have stingers. I'm pretty sure bees have stingers, sir. Not male bees, no. Well, anyway, so then Barry talks to his mom and dad about how- Wait, his mom and dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hives have queens, and they give birth to all the bees, so he wouldn't have a mom and dad. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Did you write an entire movie about bees without doing any research on bees? First of all, yes. Okay. Second of all, in this movie, if I have the chance, to make a bee joke, then facts will absolutely come second, okay? Oh, disregarding facts for the sake of puns is tight. Puns are all that matter in this world, sir. Oh, I think you might have just revealed some of the darkness lurking deep within your soul. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, so Barry has to go to his graduation ceremony, so he and his friend Adam hop in their little bee car and they drive off. They have cars, but they can fly. Listen, Jerry Seinfeld likes cars. I don't know what to tell you. Well, okay then. And then Barry finds out that when he picks a job, he's stuck with it for life. How did he not already know that. Unclear. Huh. So he goes out on a pollen mission in Central Park and almost gets killed by a couple playing tennis. Okay. And then it starts to rain and he lands in the apartment of the tennis players. He lands in the apartment of the same people he encountered in Central Park? That's right. What are the odds of that? I don't know. Math is hard. That's true. It is. So anyway, this guy Ken is about to kill Barry, but then his wife Vanessa saves him. Wow, that's very nice of her. Yeah, so then Barry's gonna, you know, instantly fall in love with her. What? Yeah, he gets all nervous and flustered. He thinks she's just beautiful. You're saying we're gonna have a romantic storyline between a human woman and a bee? That's right, sir, we are. But how would that even work? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, because I actually have some very detailed drawings I'd like to show you. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Oh, okay, I'll just email them over to you then. Please don't. Oh, should I burn them? Absolutely, yeah, please burn those as soon as you can. I'll get right on that after this meeting, sir. I have a flamethrower in my car. You what? Anyway, so the bees have this one huge rule where they're not allowed to talk to humans, right? Okay. But Barry's in love with this woman, so he goes ahead and talks to her. Oh, wow, so what's gonna happen to Barry for having broken the rules? Absolutely nothing. Oh. And then Barry Barry discovers that humans have been stealing honey this whole time. Right, they didn't know that? Nope, they didn't, so then Barry is gonna sue the human race on behalf of the bees. Oh, he is. Yeah, so then the movie's gonna take a sharp turn and become a courtroom legal battle. And that's gonna be enjoyable for kids to watch? Oh yeah, kids love legal proceedings. I guess a couple of minutes in a courtroom could be funny. This is gonna take up a third of the movie. Oh, it is. Yeah, and then Vanessa and Barry are gonna joke about a suicide pact. Very kid appropriate. And then at a certain point, Barry's friend Adam is gonna sting the human lawyer guy. Male bees don't have stingers though. And it's gonna be a dramatic moment because the whole movie we've been saying that when a bee stings a human, the bee dies. So he dies? Nope. Oh, you're not even following your own rules. Anyway, so eventually the bees win the court case and they get all the honey back and they don't have to work anymore. Wow. And then because of that, all the plants in the world die. Uh-oh. So then Barry and Vanessa have to take a plane to go steal a flower float, but then on the plane ride home, the pilots get knocked out and they have to land the plane themselves, so they do it with the help of millions of bees. Sure, all that might as well happen. Yeah, we had no idea what to do for the climax, so we just threw some crazy stuff in there. That's eh, probably fine. Yeah, we figured who really cares at this point. Let's just throw some action on the screen. But what are they gonna do about all the dead plants? It's gonna be hard to reverse that damage. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, they just sprinkle some pollen on the plants and they instantly come back to life. That's not how that works at all. It might be. It's not. Okay, well, is that really gonna change your opinion of this movie? No, it's fine. At this point, we're just straight up making anything. Thing, to be honest. Oh, you are? Yeah, I mean, we just greenlit a movie about a panda that does kung fu. Okay, yeah, the B-movie's gonna look like a masterpiece compared to something like that.
Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a ton of these on the channel that you can check out. You can also leave me a comment down below letting me know what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share on Facebook and Twitter, spread it around. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye-bye.